Hey yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on the MTG Nerds channel. Sorry, taking off the glasses so that you don't see the glare the whole time. <laughs> but today we're going to be talking about the Mystery Booster LGS Edition and what effect I think it's going to have on some of the card prices. If you guys don't know about Mystery Booster, I will cover that in a second. But first, before we hop into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video. It helps me out a ton as a smaller YouTube channel. Uh, really helps me progress, I guess. I don't know. But I would really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button and like button down below. It takes only a couple seconds. Thank you guys. And also, if you want to support the channel, you can check out Patreon. It is the best way to support the channel directly. That will be linked below. We also have merch and custom commander decks. You can check all those out. All links below. That being said, let's hop into this. So make sure you leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section uh, as we're talking about this because I love to see what you guys have to think, whether it contradicts my opinion or not. I love to see it, love to respond to it, you know, that kind of thing. Let's hop into this. So before we actually talk about the effect I think this set is going to have on the market, let's talk about what is the set just for any people who don't know or are, aren't currently aware. Mystery Booster is a new Magic the Gathering set, and it is a two, I think it has over 2,300 cards in the entire set. Yeah, that's a lot. And all of them are reprints. Now, there's two editions of these booster packs. One of them is a uh, event edition, uh, and then one is LGS edition. LGS edition is the one we're talking about today. I mean, it kind of relates to both of them. The only difference is that the event edition has playtest cards, which if you don't know what those are, it's basically a card that is not actually put out into the game, kind of laid on top of a card. It kind of just looks like a piece of paper. I can pop one up over here. But yeah, so that's really the only difference. Each pack contains 15 cards as normal and one old style card. So that is like a vintage frame. Now, these cards that are reprints, all of them have their original or, or a set symbol from the old set. So the difference between, uh, the way to tell the difference between a Mystery Booster Edition and a normal set edition is going to be in the bottom left hand corner. You're going to find a little Planeswalker symbol that's going to be white and it's going to be right next to kind of where you see the uh, R for rare or the M for mythic, that kind of thing. It's going to be down there in that corner. So if you see that, it's a mystery edition. So just keep that in mind if you're buying them or buying a card. Make sure it is the edition that you want. So let's hop into this. What effect do I think this is going to have on the market? Now, I think it could have a very substantial one because things like Demonic Tutor, um, Lotus Petal, and a bunch of other crazy cards, there's Soul Rings and stuff like that, a bunch of other crazy cards are all uncommon. That's right. Demonic Tutor is back to being an uncommon in this set. So especially that, any sort of rare card that may have gotten bumped um, from older sets to newer sets, from bumped from uncommon to rare, those kind of cards are the ones I'm worried about. Especially Demonic Tutor, with it being a pretty hefty card in terms of price. Currently, the card is sitting at around a swift 30 to $33. So, with that being said, this being printed as an uncommon could shake up that price quite a bit. Now, one of my relatives, my uncle, he's probably watching this video, shout out to him. <laughs> um, he thinks, or he said that um, he thinks this card is gonna drop quite a bit. Uh, I think he said somewhere around the five to $10 range. Let me see before I quote that. He said he thinks it will drop to five bucks. Um, I highly agree that it's going to drop. Now, I wouldn't get too worried because, I mean, yes, I bet a ton of cards, unfortunately, are gonna drop a ton in price, which, by the way, if you need certain cards that are printed in this set, make sure you get them Wait a couple weeks after Mystery Booster, then buy the expensive cards you need because I bet you they'll be a little bit cheaper at the very least. So I would highly recommend waiting a couple weeks before you buy any expensive cards to see if the prices change of these cards. But for in the case of Demonic Tutor, I do not believe it's going to drop quite to $5. However, I do believe it's going to sit around the $10, $15 mark. I don't think it's going to keep its $30 at all. I wouldn't 
I wouldn't say that whatsoever. Um, so I would just be aware of that kind of thing. Lotus Petal, another pretty good card. I think it's in the 10 to $15 range. So Lotus Petal currently sitting at $9. Uh, I have at an uncommon, I bet you that will probably drop to anywhere from one to $3. It's not going to be worth much. So things like these are just the things that you want to think about as you're buying, uh, cards, uh, in the near future because I bet you a lot of the cards you want will drop in price, so you might be able to get them for cheaper, and plus, you don't really want to lose money. Now, that being said, people who are holding on to cards that, you know, you might not be really using, as long as they're not, like, holding a major value to you personally, sentimentally, or if you're not planning on using them, or you don't think you'll use them, any sort of expensive cards like that, I would recommend selling, because, like I said, just as with the buying thing, these cards are probably going to drop in price. So I would recommend selling some of the cards that maybe you're more expensive, like the 20 to 50 or 20 or more, basically 10 or more, honestly, stuff like that. I would recommend selling, um, if it is going to be reprinted in this set, because it's almost guaranteed that it's going to drop in price. And yeah, so as long as it's not like super, super important to you, you might want to sell it and then you can always buy it again later if it's cheaper. So, you know, I would recommend selling most of your most more expensive cards that you're not planning on using. As long as you're not like the luxury cards, luxury, like the Kaladesh Invocations and Master Kaladesh Masterpieces is what I meant. I always get them mixed up. A Monkhead is Invocations and Zendikar is Expeditions. Stuff like that you want to hold on to. So, uh, that takes me into one more thing that I want to touch on. So, I believe... Like, like I've said a million times, I think that a lot of these cards that are getting a reprint are going to be dropping price to some extent. It might not drop a ton. If, it, if a rare card is dropping to an uncommon slot, like Demonic Tutor, those are going to drop a lot more than the ones that are just being reprinted at their same rarity. For example, Mana Crypt is in this. It is a mythic card. I don't think it's going to hold complete value, but I don't think it's going to drop much either. I would say it's sitting at 200 bucks right now. I would say it's not going to drop lower than 180, 170. Um, who knows? I could be wrong. Not a master at this, but I'm just kind of getting the general things out there so that you guys know what's going on. So one other thing that I want to touch on is uh, if you buy the Mystery Booster Booster Packs, awesome have fun i honestly wish i could buy some because i definitely want some <laughs> if you get any major pulls right away especially if you're pre-ordering um i would recommend selling cards as soon as you get them because you don't necessarily want to hold on to a bunch of expensive cards that you don't think you'll use uh it goes back to the same selling thing you don't want to keep those cards that are going to drop in price. So if you get any great pulls right when the set comes out, I would recommend trying to sell them unless you want to use them yourself in your own decks. Um, but that's just my thoughts on it. Make sure you, you leave your thoughts on it down below in the comments and uh, let everyone know what you're thinking, what your thoughts are. Uh, you know, we're all here to help each other out, right? So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helped out a little bit. I will see you guys all in the next one. Make sure you thumbs up the video and subscribe. Maybe tick that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out guys. See ya.